Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this live stream from the VST Buzz page. If anyone's surprised about what I'm doing on the VST Buzz page, they've invited me to uh, do a live stream from here, so that's very kind of them. Um, just going to wait for some people to join me. Uh, we'll be kicking off the live stream, oh, I said in the email about six o'clock. Uh, I'll give it a couple of minutes to just get sorted, and then we'll go from there. If you want to chat to me during the live streams, please feel free. And uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to have a look at uh, the current deal from VST Buzz, which is 82% uh, off acoustic samples guitar bundle. Uh, so these are four libraries from acoustic samples, a collection of four classic guitars that have been deeply sampled, lovingly scripted to be as intuitively musical and playable as possible. I've got them all loaded up in Logic, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take a look at them. Uh, there's a couple of weeks left on this deal, which is pretty cool. You can get the whole bundle uh, for eighty-two percent off I believe yes 82 percent off which is 89 euros good bargain I reckon or you can get the individual products at uh, just 49 dollars each I think they're all 49 even though some of them are a little bit larger than others so it's a good saving and uh, my system is going to try and uh, live stream the deals to you uh, we're going to go through have a look at some of the functions we're going to um, also have a look at the uh, the preferences, the effects. We're going to run them through some um, crazy kind of guitar rig effects. And I'm going to play everything live. So this is not going to be a guitar programming masterclass by uh, any stretch of the imagination. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give uh, all of these different guitars a go. Uh, the Telematic, the GT6 uh, Strategy, which is a Stratocaster, and the Sunbird as well. So yeah, uh, if you want to join me here, do feel free to uh, yeah check out the live stream, ask me questions as we go along, and also yeah tell me what you want to hear. And um, that is exactly what I'm here for. Uh, basically, I'm going to go through the libraries, playing them, fiddling around with some of the uh, different options like the chord player and uh, the pattern generator there'll be a few things because I've used these guitars a little bit but there's a few um, some of the more complex functions that I don't know how to do so <laughs> I probably will be referring to the manual at some point uh, to try and uh, figure out exactly what's going on but uh, the thing I like about these libraries uh, is they're really easy to kind of just pick up and play. They run in the UVI player and uh, you can you can just load them up. You'll need iLock verification, either a, uh, a physical iLock or just um, verified on the iLock software, which can live on the machine. And then off you go. They load up with a uh, pretty... Uh, I would say functional and uh, mostly easy to use interface. Uh, there are various tabs for loading the preferences, pickups, effects, that sort of thing, in uh, each of the different guitars. Well, in some of the uh, in some of the electric ones, anyway. And there's actually a few different versions of the guitars, especially the Telematic. Um, They've uh, they've been developing these guitars for quite a while over at Acoustic Samples, uh, I gather, and the Telematics now in version three. Um, there's also a version two of the uh, GD6 acoustic guitar and the Strategy and Sunbird just have one patch. So uh, yeah, we're going to go through and have a listen. A few people joining us. Hello. Um, let me know if there's anything in particular you want to hear. Otherwise, I'm just going to go through. Um, have a look at the bundle and uh, see how we get on. So there are acoustic guitars here and there are electric guitars and they've got a number of different pickups. The uh, the telematic I'll start with, which is uh, basically it's a, basically a Telecaster, as far as I can tell. And you've got four different play modes: solo, which is just literally playing on the keys. Mm. 
I'm going to go through some really basic kind of stuff first. There's chord mode. You can play chords and strum. There are strumming keys just at the top here. There's individual string keys. There's a pattern mode where you can load in patterns to various key switches at the top here. These are all tempo synced. And there's MIDI guitar mode. Um, I do not have a MIDI guitar, so I have no idea how that mode works. I'm not going to even attempt to try and explain that. Uh, but I'm sure there's information in the manual. Uh, there is a full menu available for all of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, on the uh, Acoustic Samples website, and you can link through to the manuals from uh, the VST Buzz website as well. If you are interested in having a look at this, there's a link in the video description for VST Buzz, and uh, that will take you through to the site where you can have a look at uh, the deal, all the pricing, all the features, and there's some official videos on there as well. So obviously with the official videos and the and the official tracks, you're going to get uh, maybe a lot more, uh, I would say, professionally played guitar examples than, than I can manage, but... Uh, I'm here to just show you how it works and show off the sounds to a certain extent. So the solo mode, you can just play it more or less like a piano. And you'll hear hammer-ons and pull-offs automatically. That's the same with all of these guitars. You can force it to do slides and legatos instead of the hammer-ons and pull-offs. Hammers, slides, legato, that's the GD6. Go back to the telematic, these are the hammers, slides, legato. And you can turn that off as well. You can actually change the different modes with, I think, these keys at the bottom here. Some of the keys are the yellow keys. So you can sort of, they're like latching keys. See how we go with those. The blue keys have all sorts of sort of noises on there. Uh, there's a key for palm muting, which is the red one just down the bottom here. Be aware that these key switches are more or less universal across uh, the four different guitars. So without the mutes, and with the mutes, you'll see the little uh, switch here change. And the key switch is at the top here for switching between the four different modes. So there's a very kind of simple key switch arrangement here and it works across all the different guitars but I would say that um, it's pretty intuitive. Once you've learnt one of them you can go through and and uh, really familiarise yourself with the other ones because they all work in pretty much the same way. Uh, so the majority of the interface here is taken up with the graphic showing what um, frets are being used and what strings are being used. just using the sustain pedal there uh, but you can open the preferences and you can open the effects to do various different things as well so there's some effects turned on by default with this guitar let me just turn them all off so you can hear the signal as is and there's two different signals uh, with the telematic you've got the uh, neck turn that up a bit And you've got the bridge pickup. They're both turned on by default. But you can mix between them with these dials here. You can also adjust the fret noises um, and various sensitivities and velocity curves, that kind of stuff. There's also dynamics in there. All of these guitars have some sort of preferences panel where you can uh, pull that sort of thing off. Um, then the second panel is the effects, as I said. 
various different options for uh, cabinets and pedals that sort of thing uh, different amplifiers as well there's one two three four four six seven eight amplifiers telecaster is a really kind of uh, familiar sound to sort of rock and pop records um it's not it's not a particularly modern sound but um you can use your own effects on top of it of course do what you want with it there's delay as well and reverb nice so i'm gonna play the chord mode now and there's a whole bunch of different things on the chord modes, including a song builder. Now, the song builder is something I really like. Um, I'll come on to it in a minute. But the chord mode basically allows you to play chords with the left hand and then strum with the right hand on these red keys. Up strums and down strums. And then you've got kind of um, muted slaps on the... Just uh, strums with the hands on the string on these uh, black notes. <laughs> Some messy playing there. And the uh, blue keys here are for the individual strings. So you can hold a chord and then play the strings through. for arpeggios let's try um, A minor rather nice sound there you can see what's happening if we close down those panels see the strumming just there uh, so that's a rather nice function. You've got all sorts of different options for the accents, the strumming speed. Basically with the strums you'll find that if you press lightly you just get a couple of strings. If you press hard you get all the strings. So it's lightly and that's harder. Um, it's got chord recognition so you'll see the chord pop up here and the voicing as well. You can adjust the voicing for the individual chords which is a huge um, useful way of really um, getting your own kind of unique spin on the chords because it doesn't just play a standard C major. For example, you could change that to a different kind of voicing. And also in different octaves as well. You can move that around. Uh, you've got automatic voicing. You can change where the capo is on the uh, neck of the guitar. Let me just put that back to normal voicing. And move the capo up. Which will transpose automatically. Or you can switch the transposing... Uh, where it says on here but I, I would call it transposing off so that you get the same chords see what I mean different capo positions using different strings to create that C chord nice stuff there's a couple of different modes. Um, the guitar mode is where you hold the chord and then you use the red keys for the strumming or the piano mode. You'll get a little chord when you just press the white keys. Then there's a mixed mode where you can play kind of legato but then the chords will recognize as well uh, when you play more than one note. I think it's one note. So what I like uh, with the chord recognition mode and also the patterns, which does automatic patterns. Mm -hmm. 
What if you're stuck for chords? What if you can't think of any decent chords? Well, that's where the song builder comes in. You can set every chord you play to be a particular type of chord. Uh, so it's a normal kind of five intervals, but if you wanted to, you could do a seven sustained fourth. So when you play C, you get a C, seven sustained fourth, D the same, E the same. Or you can set to various song presets so that you can set the root key of your song, which um, let's make it E just to change things up a bit. And then you've got presets which will put different chord voicings and different types of chords on the related intervals. So what does that do? Um, let's show you. So over the rainbow with the root, let's say root E. Over the rainbow with root E. So I'm going to play an E. I'll get an E major. A major on A. B seventh on B. G fifth. Uh, sorry, G five, F five. On those keys. So everything will kind of relate to one another. It will choose the majors and minors and sevenths and things for you. Everything's related, so you can just literally play through the keys. Very useful. I'll give you another couple of examples. Simple jazz in C. It's nice. Different preset here. Do you get the idea of what's going on with that? Hopefully so. Uh, you can also write your own presets if you want to. You can go crazy. Uh, you can actually go into any of these individual keys and change the the voicing to whatever you want. So C ninth, C major ninth, C suspended second. So you've got every key there laying out a different kind of interval and a different kind of chord. That's your song builder. You've also got a selection of different modes. So many different uh, types of modes here. Um, you know, the standard ones, Dorian, uh, Phrygian, Lydian, but then some that I'd never even heard of. Enigmatic, Balinese, Pelog, anyone? Prometheus? thought that was a film. Crazy. Suspended pentatonic. Loads of different um, ideas. Really, this is kind of a good inspiration starter, especially the uh, song presets. I mean, they're named after particular songs, and obviously the chords are sort of related to those songs, but you don't have to stick with those. You can do whatever you want. So, let's come out of the song builder for a minute. Patterns. Well, anyone who's familiar with um, kind of orange tree samples, uh, guitar libraries or anything like that, they'll be familiar with strum uh, makers or pattern builders. So, there are 67 different strumming patterns already included here. <laughs> And they're all across these red keys, so you could load in uh, 12 different ones if you want to. 13, I think, actually. And you can change the speed, half time, double time. You get the idea.
And then there's a full editor for editing your own patterns. I'm not going to go into this because I could be here all day and I've already been chatting for 20 minutes. Um, but basically, yeah, you can choose the velocities of the strings. You can link um, each uh, strum to the next one. You can change the strumming speed, the length, uh, whether it's an up, down, uh, an up strum or a down strum. Humanize it, add shuffle, loads of different things. You can also go into the factory presets and see those, adjust them, do what you want with them, you know, this kind of thing, and then save and load. So that's pretty handy. You can get deep. You can get deep with this stuff. That's why I think it's a bargain. 89 euros for four different sounding libraries that can do all of this stuff. So pretty incredible. Preview the patterns like this. <laughs> I'm shocking, shocking at playing those. But uh, yeah, hopefully you get the gist. So, solo, you just play on the keyboard. And you can add in your noises at the bottom here. And you can go into mutes chord mode we've looked at, automatic voicing, manual strumming or automatic strumming with the patterns of which there are many 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 and MIDI guitar which I'm not going to touch. I'm afraid of MIDI guitar. So these functions you'll see more or less the same on um, all of the different guitars. There's a couple of nice acoustic ones, the Sunbird and the uh, GD6, which is very nice. They have some of them different microphone options. So, for example, the Sunbird, let's have a little play with that. The mute is um, by default on the, um, on the sustain pedal, so I'm just going to turn that off for a minute. those nice little squeaks squeaks and hammer-ons and pull-offs they're all automatic so it's very cool you can adjust the legato distance um, and the slide speed and things if you're using the slides Uh, you've also got manual string selection uh, or automatic selection. Just close that down for a minute. So you can move it up the fretboard like this. Gives a really kind of different tone. Then I want to show you the microphones because there's different microphones on this one. Um, you've got straight from the pickup, which you can load up. Let's load them all up for a minute. I'll just turn them off. So straight from the pickup. got a close mic um, right in front of the guitar and also the overhead mics nice kind of ambient sound But you can use these all in combination if you want to. There's adjustable levels. Rather nice. 
then your other preferences are pretty much the same um, as the telematic that we already looked at. Um, got different play modes for solo strumming, picking and patterns. You can use the pick or you can use fingers. It's fingers. And that's pick. Got EQs there as well. Just a basic three band. And then a few different effects. Reverb. Fret noises, release noises, that sort of thing. You can go wild with the adjustments on these if you want to. Nice stuff. Strumming, you can strum with the pick and the fingers as well. Um, let's get onto the strumming. fingers same layout you can see what we've got there the individual strings and then the strumming keys are here up down and the muted ones guitar playing is terrible but hopefully you get the idea to me that sounds totally realistic um, really nice you've still got the song builder so again similar kind of um, operation here, well exactly the same operation okay let's try and do an actual song Very easy once you kind of get to grips with it. Obviously, if you're programming it in a door, um, I've got Logic open now, but I'm not going to use it. Um, if you're programming it in a door, then you can quantize, you can make things sound nice. Then the patterns. Again, a full selection of patterns. crazy with those. MIDI guitar option as well. One thing I like about the Sunbird is it's got a kind of nice immediate sound um, especially with the uh, the mics up front if you're using those and the pickup. I think that's rather lovely really. Let me just turn off the reverb. One thing I can't really do when I'm playing live that I do uh, use when I'm programming guitars is I use a lot of slides, I use a lot of um, pitch bends into notes as well. So the pitch bend range on this is... It's not huge but it's enough to slide into notes. If you're doing kind of bluegrass stuff can use that pitch bend wheel and something else I forgot to mention which I think is on the telematic as well is that you've got a vibrato effect on the mod wheel can you hear that 
no vibrato, full vibrato. So it's the same with the sunbird, and I think the other guitars too. Pretty nice stuff for the vibrato there. So uh, yeah, as I say, the uh, the Sunbird is a nice acoustic option. There is another acoustic option, which is the GD6. Now this has two different versions. Um, there's the original version, which is functional. It's pretty nice. Um, does everything it's supposed to. But uh, acoustic samples have updated that recently. And this is the version two, which includes uh, a lot of aspects from the the other guitars, they're more recent guitars. So there's more options on board, microphone options, that sort of thing. Oh, I'm getting some love from some people on, on chat. That's cute. Thank you, guys. Um, let's go through the pickups on the GD6 as well. So two options here. You've got the pickup. The DI, basically. You've got the overhead mics. So together, you get a nice sound. Now you might want to use those uh, direct uh, that direct option. If you're going to feed it into an external um, processing unit, so I've actually got Guitar Rig loaded up here, and just to give it a try, let's play from the direct input. Obviously, an acoustic guitar <laughs> into a big uh, amp is going to sound a little bit weird, but I kind of like it. nice. Let's try a whole guitar mix. Country guitar clean. Ooh. You can use any of the guitars with the, these kind of um, amp and cabinet emulators. spacey sort of stuff. So I thought I'd load that in just uh, just have a crack really and see what it sounds like with the direct input. It's nice stuff. Don't forget you can hear all the um, official demos for these. If you go over to the uh, Audio Plugin Deal site the link is in the description and uh, yeah check that out and uh, you'll be able to hear people playing guitar much much better than I can I mean these are easy to play but uh, I am not very good at, um, at playing live so yeah that's a bit of a thing So let's move on to strategy, which is something that I love playing with um, external amps. Now there is a whole uh, different effects page with strategy, which is rather nice. Pops up at the side here. So this is a Stratocaster. Um, you've got actually sort of onboard controls on the uh, on the graphic, which I find pretty cool.
Nicholas Penn on the chat. Hey buddy, Logic Pro for sure. I'd agree. Uh, oh wow, this sounds great. I'd also agree with that. And for 80, 89 euros or whatever it is for these four libraries, I wouldn't have any hesitation in picking them up. Do check the link in the description. You'll be able to see more information about them. So, uh, this is Strategy, the, uh, yeah, Stratocaster. Same, more or less the same um, options as before. You've got the solo, you've got the chords. Now, strats have a very interesting tone. Um, you've got three different options to mix. Bridge, middle and neck. So, let me just turn those on individually so you can see what I'm chatting about. Um, this is bridge. And this is the middle one, middle pickup. And the neck pickup. You can turn them all on if you want to max out your system. Or you can go with uh, just one or two. And you've got adjustable uh, volumes for them as well. Just going to reload that from scratch. Oops. Just going to reload it from scratch, he says. Cha-ching. One thing I like about UVI Play is it always seems to load up instruments pretty quickly compared to Contact. I know some guitar libraries I've got on contact seem to take ages to load for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, so that's the chords, Song Builder is present and correct like before. Uh, I want to play with some of these weird modes as well. Let me just set it on the other mode, piano mode. Okay, so the effects, there's a whole effects tab as I said before. This, is, uh, this library's probably got more effects I'd say than any of the other three. So a number of different um, stomp pedal emulations, well a number of them, lots of them, um, chorus phase of flanger, wah wah, tremolo, delay, rotary control, uh, tube saturation, tone stack, and reverb. Then you've got presets too. I think you have presets. Let me just double check that. Do you have presets? Yes. And you can do your thing with them. You can adjust them, you can go crazy, you can change the uh, mic mixing on the amp, you can adjust the type of different amp, whoa, rather nice so this is like a mini you know mini guitar rig um, there are guitar guitar libraries that are fully functional without FX controls and you can throw them into guitar rig if you want to but um, this one has some built in so yeah why not use it 
I like the big sounding ones. Some of the really huge ones sound nice with the mutes. Get the idea? Hopefully. Um, I'm not going to go through all these individually unless anyone particularly wants me to. Let me know on the chat. Um, you know you know what a chorus phase of flanger sounds like, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, it's nicely modelled. Nice kind of um, graphics as well on these. I do like, you know, to kind of see me effects right in front of me. That's nice, a bit loud. Really nice. Uh, let me knock out some of those effects, uh, just stick it on default for a minute, which of course is now too quiet, and uh, I'll play some of the patterns so you can hear what's going on with those. There's a let ring control, which uh, I seem to remember allows you to So one of these controls allows you to carry on playing up the keyboard, lets the notes ring out. I think it's this one. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me check the manual. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, one of those does it. I have to work out. Uh, it was really useful. I was playing with it earlier and I thought, ah, that's a pretty useful um, little control. I'm going to bring that up. But if I can't remember what it does, that's no good, is it? Let ring determines if the off events contained in the pattern will be played or not. Oh, yes. Uh, so it's to do with the pattern. Um, when you've got uh, various, uh, sometimes you've got like stop controls, stop, stop, um, that that will either mute them or it will uh, let them ring out if you have the let ring control on. That's what it does. I remember now. So yeah, handy. Um, the manual does go through a lot of um, different options, uh, shuffling, latching, that sort of thing for the pattern controller and and everything else. Um, I d I very rarely read manuals for things unless I'm uh, you know getting in deep to them. But I did I did open the manual on this and have a little look before I uh, started broadcasting. And I thought, well, uh, wouldn't do me any harm to know what things I'm talking about. And I have to say, the manual is concise. You know, it's only a few pages long. It's pretty good, which is a credit to the designers here, really, because. Um, if you can keep the manual nice and short, it means that your design and the kind of intuitiveness of the interface is pretty cool. So you can see what I mean here. Speed strum. All of these controls do something to the sound. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into it too much. That's the let ring thing. I'm going to take my key, take my fingers off. It rings out. If not. So that's strategy. Um, 
I think it's a really nice guitar. I've got a couple of strats in my collection. Um, this one is probably one that I'm going to be picking up just to uh, to use when I want something simple or to use that song builder mode when I've run out of ideas for things. Um, I do like it. And the onboard effects means that I don't have to throw any more plugins using up all my CPU. I'll play... Um, just before I come off this one, uh, some of the finger options as well. You don't have to use a pick. You can use the finger option too. So that's pick. And also you've got automatic. Automatic double tracking as well, which I think is here. check out exactly how that works hopefully you can get the idea so uh, yeah what I'd like to do with some of these guitars is to throw them into guitar rig or another um, guitar emulator you can keep things really simple then switch guitar rig on go for some crazy guitar mixes Nice, eh? This one will sound good with the kind of chugging palm mutes. Let me have a weird one with that. Go away, Facebook. See what I mean with that? It's pretty cool. This is very much the kind of Green Day effect. So yeah, if you're using the onboard effects, it's all good. If you are not, then I would recommend Guitar Rig or something else like that to run these guitars through. Um, simply because I think it's a, rather a good option. Um, I've got a few guitar plugins, um, guitar effects plugins that are actually free, picked up off the front of computer music or various things. They don't seem to be too hard to get hold of, but... Um, Guitar rig's probably my favourite, and it, they work particularly well with these ones from uh, Acoustic Samples. So, yeah, hopefully that gives you an idea of um, exactly what's going on. I think my favourite ones are Strategy and Sunbird, if you're looking for individual recommendations. But uh, you can't really go wrong with any of them, and I think €89 Euros for... Whole bundle is a bit of a steal in my book. Um, I've got quite a few acoustic samples um, sound banks actually. They're not on the on this system, but uh, yeah, do do thoroughly recommend them. And uh, yeah, definitely be interested in feedback and seeing what people think about uh, the playback and uh, exactly what I've been doing. Don't judge me for my guitar playing skills because uh, they are not good. But uh, hopefully you've got an idea of exactly the tones and the functionality that you can get with this sort of thing. So I'll sign off for now. Leave some comments underneath and uh, let me know what you're thinking. Um, 
if you've got any questions about the bundle or the discounts or anything like that, do drop uh, VST Buzz a email. Just go on the site vstbuzz.com and they've got a support section on there. They're pretty responsive to stuff, I have to say. And uh, if you do fancy picking this up, there's a link in the description below. So you can get all the guitars that you could possibly want for 89 euros. So yeah, thanks for tuning in and um, I will see you next time. Bye now.